In this video, I'd like to introduce the new NC1 Map Geospatial Portal. This is a central gateway for discovering online services and data that are available through NC1 Map. If you're unfamiliar with the project, you can visit our website at www.nc1map.com. In short, this is a collaborative effort to provide online data and services for North Carolina. The sole purpose of the portal is to allow users to get information about the data so that they can incorporate it into their projects. And it, the portal provides a variety of ways for you to discover those resources. The first of which is through a keyword or key phrase search. And I could enter a search phrase here and go ahead and click search and, and begin that. But I'm going to go to the dedicated search page. I have a river basin search phrase in here. I click search and the results are returned. I can filter my search by content type, data category, or by date. Furthermore, I can spatially filter my search by selecting the appropriate radio button, entering a location, clicking find, and then conducting my search. We also have the ability to search other catalogs of content as well by expanding on the record shown from item. You can see here that we've added two additional catalogs, ArcGIS.com and Geospatial One Stop. Over here on the right, we had seven records returned by using the search phrase River Basins from NC One Map. But now I'm going to select Geospatial One Stop and perform that query. And we got over 66,000, almost 67,000. So Geospatial One Stop, if you're unfamiliar with that, is a national repository of information uh, for the entire United States. So I'm going to come back to NC1 map. The results are listed on the right, and notice how as I mouse over each item, the extent is displayed on the map. By clicking on each item, I'm given a description of the item along with appropriate links that allow me to get either more specific data or uh, immediate access to the resource for use in my work. The second method of discovering is to use more of a Windows Explorer type interface by clicking on the Browse menu item. And just by simply expanding and clicking on each item, just as you would in Windows Explorer, you have results that are returned to you along with the appropriate links. So the results that are displayed here are the exact same ones that you would get on the search page. It's just in a different format. The third way that you can discover resources is by using the map viewer. And by clicking on that, it opens up a new window. And again, we can enter our search term of river basins. Click search. And the results are returned. I can expand that just as before and get information along with the link. So we're not we're not discovering any new information. It's just how you you are most comfortable searching for it and in what format you would like to get the search results. Finally, we've added the capability to download the 2010 ortho imagery. To get more information, again, I will point you to the NC1 map website about that project. But to initiate that download, you can click on the download imagery menu item, zoom in to a fairly small area. As you might already know, because of the size of raster data, which can be quite large, we've placed restrictions on the amount of data that you can download at one time. So I've zoomed into a fairly tight area here. I'm going to select my Draw Polygon tool, use my mouse to drag a box, 
I did not receive an error message up here, which means that I am within the limitations, size limitations of the download. And I simply need to enter my email address and click download. And as the message states, the server, when all the files have been prepared, you receive an email by the server with a link to it that you can click on to initiate the download. Now to get around the restrictions for downloading on area, or just as a matter of convenience to access quickly all the data for the state, we'd strongly encourage you to use our image service. And I would like to highlight that particular service for you. Click my search, 2010 ortho imagery, and we'll allow you to preview that. And just to show you the the uh, performance that you can expect from this, we'll zoom in on an airport here in Raleigh. Quality is quite good, and I think you would agree that the, the speed is there to suit most needs. To get information on how to incorporate that into your software, there are dedicated videos to accessing this as an OGC WMS service or as an ESRI ArcGIS service and their dedicated videos for that. But by clicking just to highlight briefly, clicking on the service info link takes you to the service page for that service and this is where the jumping off point is to get the information you need to put it in your software of choice. So we'd highly encourage you to take a look at that. The GeoPortal allows you to also stay abreast of the latest additions to a particular search or to all the contents that are provided within the GeoPortal. And you can do that by selecting one of the links at the bottom of the search page that allow you to um, view comprehensively the search results and also to subscribe as an RSS feed or GeoRSS feed. And again, this is just a brief overview of all the functionality contained within the Geospatial Portal. There will be more specific videos highlighting functional aspects of each aspect and we invite you to take a look at those. So this ends the vi video of the introduction of the Geospatial Portal and we look forward to helping you discover information that helps you get your work done.